टूडे वी विल डिस्कस रिप्रोडक्शन इन फंजाई रिप्रोडक्शन इन सिंपल वर्ड्स में बी डिफाइंड एज अ प्रोसेस इन विच इंडिविजुअल स्पीशीज इंक्रीज देयर नंबर बाय प्रोड्यूसिंग द प्रोजेनी व्हेन द फंगल माइसिलियम हैज रीच्ड अ सर्टेन स्टेज ऑफ मैच्योरिटी एंड आल्सो हैज एक्युमुलेटेड रिजर्व फूड मटेरियल इट स्टार्ट्स रिप्रोड्यूसिंग राइट इन फंजाई रिप्रोडक्शन इज ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स वेजिटेटिव रिप्रोडक्शन ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन एंड सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन ड्यूरिंग ए सेक्शुअल एंड सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन स्पोर्स आर द एसेंशियल स्ट्रक्चर्स व्हिच आर फॉर्म्ड द स्पोर्स फॉर्म्ड आफ्टर मियोसिस आर कॉल्ड मियोस्पोर्स एग्जांपल्स ऑफ मियोस्पोर्स आर एस्कोस्पोर्स बसिडियोस्पोर्स स्प्रेंजियोस्पोर्स एंड दोस रिजल्टिंग फ्रॉम माइटोसिस आर कॉल्ड माइटोस्पोर्स एग्जांपल्स ऑफ माइटोस्पोर्स आर zoospores aplanospores conidia uridospores etc fungi reproduce vegetatively by means of fission budding fragmentation and sclerotia asexual reproduction by means of endogenous spores or exogenous spores and sexual reproduction in fungi it includes various methods like uh, planogametic copulation gametangial contact gametangial copulation uh spermatization somatogamy uh, etc first vegetative reproduction vegetative reproduction is a type of re reproduction in which new plant grows from a part uh, or a fragment of the parent plant or a specialized reproductive structure right fission budding and fragmentation are most common methods of vegetative reproduction in fungi in addition fungi also reproduce vegetatively by means of sclerotia and rhizomorphs first uh, fission fission is commonly found in single celled fungi uh, for example yeast here single celled fungi reproduce by simple cell division fission means simple cell division uh here one cell undergoes nuclear division and then splits into two daughter cells you can see in this diagram binding fission uh in this process a mature cell first elongate right then its nucleus divides into two nuclei and these two daughter nuclei then separate uh by the division of cytoplasm cytoplasm divide uh, by the formation of septum in the middle of uh, the cell right and ultimately two daughter cells are formed example this type of the reproduction is found in yeast in saccharomyces then budding in budding bud develops on the surface of either the yeast cell or the hypha right what happens here cell wall bulges out right first cell wall bulges out and softens then protoplasm also bulges out in this region as a small protuberance then parent nucleus also divide into two one of the daughter nucleus migrate into the bud this is bud and uh this this is a nucleus and another remains in the parent cell right then a septum is formed between in between the bud and the parent cell and then bud separates and leads independent life but sometimes bud starts reproducing while still attached with mother cell and this gives branching appearance right uh, like this is a bud and it is still attached with the mother cell it start reproducing right then it gives this bud that bud uh, again reproduce and in this way uh, a chain of uh, means buds a daughter cell is formed this gives branching appearance right and uh, sometime hypha like appearance this type of the hypha is called pseudo hypha 
pseudo means false right then fragmentation commonly found in filamentous fungi in filamentous fungi mycelium uh, may fragment into number of segments this is hypha a vegetative cell and these are the fragments right then each fragment uh, which is capable of growing into a new individual right so each fragment then uh, grows into a new individual uh, hypha next is sclerotia sclerotia are resistant and perinating bodies and sclerotia survive for many years each sclerotium is cushion like structure of compact mycelium right sclerotia give rise to new mycelia when conditions are favorable right then next rhizomorphs rhizomorphs are thread like or cord like structure in fungi made up of parallel hyphae uh, branched tubular filaments that make up the body of fungus right under favorable conditions rhizomorphs resume growth and to give rise uh, to new, new mycelia example armillaria species right next asexual reproduction in fungi in fungi asexual reproduction uh, occurs by means of endogenous spores and exogenous spores endogenous spores as it's clear from the name means produced within the special uh, type of the structure here you can see mycelium right and this is sprangiophore a structure that uh, dwell soprangia this is soprangium and inside the soprangium sprangiospores are there these small small black colored structures are soprangiospores right this soprangia may be terminal or intercalary terminal means when present at the tip intercalary means uh, in the middle means in between the two cells right so soprangiophores uh, which bear the soprangia soprangiophores this is soprangiophore bear the soprangia uh, on their apex are called soprangiophores as i told you earlier so spores produced inside the sprangia are called endospores or endogenous spores right these spores may be motile or non motile non motile means without any flagella and non motile spores are called aplanospores this is aplanospores right thick walled spores aplanospores and another type of the spores which are motile are called zoospores zoospores are produced inside the zoosuprangia this is eusuprangium and these are zoospores here protoplasm of the suprangium divides into uninucleate or multinucleate protoplasmic beds and then each bed metamorphoses into spores right so endogenously produced zoospores uh, may be uni, uni or biflagellate they are kidney shaped and flagella are inserted uh, posteriorly or later on them uh, commonly found in albugo pythium phytophthora uh, etc and aplanospores non motile spores they are commonly found in mucor and rhizopus exogenous spores spores producing externally or exogenously right are uh, either called exogenous spores or conidia they are produced externally on the branched or unbranched conidiophores conidiophores are conidia bearing structures conidia may be produced singly or in chain you can see here chains of conidia these right they may be uninucleate or multinucleate uni uh, cellular or multicellular right sexual reproduction in fungi sexual reproduction as you know involves the formation and fusion of gametes sexual reproduction found in all groups of fungi except deutromycetes mold commonly known as and another name of deutromycetes fungi imperfecti fungi imperfecti because 
here no sexual reproduction is there only asexual reproduction right sexual reproduction has three distinct phases plasmogamy means fusion of protoplasm karyogamy fusion of nuclei and meiosis reduction division of zygote first plasmogamy is there means fusion of protoplasm followed by karyogamy division of uh, sorry fusion of nuclei this is zygote and then reduction division of zygote mean spores are formed right these spores are called meiospores then each spore germinate uh, to form a new mycelium now different methods of sexual production in fungi first planogametic copulation here fusion of two gametes of opposite sex or strains takes place right when both the gametes are similar this is called isogamy when dissimilar this type of the uh, fusion is called an isogamy right so it results in the formation of diploid zygote next uh, method is gametangial contact in this process two gametangia of opposite sex come in contact with each other male gamet uh, male gametangium called anthridium and female gametangium is called oogonium here male gametangium this is male gametangium anthridium and this is oogonium right so this is male gametangium male gametangium transfer male nucleus or gamete into oogonium that is female gametangium right either through a pore at the point of contact or through a fertilization tube this is gametangial contact and this type of the math this method is uh, found in phytophthora and albuco third method is gametangial copulation it involves the fusion of entire contents of two gametangia to form a common cell called zygote or zygospore commonly found in mucor and rhizobus right and next method is spermatization some fungi produce minute spore like single cell structure this is spermatium non motile structure right this structure then transferred through some agencies like with the help of water or wind or insects to uh, either a special receptive hypha or trichogyne this is a special type of the hypha receptive hypha called trichogyne right and then content migrate into the receptive structure and ultimately fusion of two nuclei is there and formation of zygote next method is spermatogamy spermatogamy uh, this takes place in fungi where formation of gametes is absent so here uh, fungi um anastomosis takes place between hypha means two somatic cells fuse to produce dikaryotic cells right two cells somatic cells fuse to produce dikaryotic cells and it is commonly found in agaricus right peniophora agaricus so what is this dikaryotization we will discuss this in the next lecture because in uh, uh, paper uh, botany optional paper uh, one under section in 2022 a question was asked that what is dikaryotization in fungi describe different methods of dikaryotization in deciduomycetes and how this dikaryotization in ascomycete differ from deciduomycetes right so we will discuss this whole process in the next lecture and also parasexuality in fungi what is parasexuality in 2017 this question was asked describe parasexuality in fungi so these both question we will discuss in the next lecture thank you